world's first analog computer. Found in a shipwreck off the coast of Greece, the long decayed device is thought to have once predicted planetary positions and eclipses. A single shipwreck off a Greek island has shattered our understanding of the ancient world. Inside a bronze device with more than 60 intricate gears proves our ancestors were far more advanced than we ever imagined. During the years 1900 to 1902, a major expedition was mounted from Greece to pull up everything they could find. Historians thought they had uncovered something extraordinary until the AI stepped in. Its analysis revealed a much darker purpose. The impossible discovery. A rusted chunk of bronze dragged up from the bottom of the Mediterranean has flipped the story of ancient history on its head. This strange looking object is over 2000 years old, but inside it are gears so carefully made they match the precision of today's finest watches, long before anyone was supposed to know how to build such things. For decades, it sat in a museum, a weird puzzle that nobody could solve. The year was 1902 when Dr. Valerio Steas first peered inside and felt a chill run down his spine. He saw tiny, sharp metal teeth, gears crafted with shocking precision. Truth be told, gears like these weren't supposed to exist for another 1,200 years. The corroded mass, which had broken into 82 known pieces, revealed a puzzle no one was ready for. One of the largest gears is 13 centimeters across with exactly 233 teeth, each one carved so finely it could pass for modern engineering. Across the bronze, ancient Greek letters are scratched into the metal. Some read Ray of the Sun. Others mention Aphrodite and long forgotten Egyptian months carved like a desperate attempt to save knowledge that was about to vanish. The work was so clean, so precise, it would need tools no one thought existed in the ancient world. Some of the smallest gear teeth are just one millimeter long, supposedly cut by hand. This wasn't just impressive, it was deeply unsettling. X-rays later showed hidden parts still locked deep inside the lump, layers of gears connected in a design so advanced it looked like something built to calculate the future. Panic rippled through the academic world. Some called it a fake, but the object sat there, plain as day, saying one terrifying thing, history got it wrong. We had reached this peak of knowledge before and somehow we lost it all. But this corroded bronze computer didn't just appear from nowhere, it came from a shipwreck that held even more secrets in its ancient cargo hold. The Mediterranean was restless around 60 BCE. Waves slammed against a wooden merchant ship as fierce winds tore its sails apart. The ship carried more than just wine and oil. Packed deep inside were strange treasures, Greek bronze statues, marble figures, and delicate glassware. Hidden beneath it all, wrapped in cloth like something meant to be forgotten, was a bronze device that no one would understand for 2,000 years. The ship went under fast, settling off the coast of Antikythera, an island with a deadly reputation for pirates and storms. Nearly two millennia passed. In 1900, a sponge diver named Elias Lycopantis plunged 40 meters down and saw something that sent him shooting to the surface in a panic. He gasped that the seafloor was covered in bodies. The captain, Demetrius Kondos, dove down himself and found not corpses, but a graveyard of magnificent bronze and marble statues, their arms and faces scattered like fallen gods. This became the world's first underwater archeological dig and what they uncovered didn't make sense. The items weren't from one place or time. Coins dated the wreck to between 76 and 67 BCE, but the cargo told a bigger story. These weren't just trade goods. Someone had been collecting the most advanced science and art of the era. Buried among nearly 100 sculptures was the lump of bronze, broken, corroded, but holding impossible gears inside. It became clear this ship was carrying more than riches. It held knowledge, carefully chosen and transported, hinting at a shared ancient network of thinkers. They had found a warning, 
proof that civilizations rise and then they fall hard. But when researchers finally looked inside the device itself, what they uncovered didn't just surprise them. It broke everything we thought we knew. The moment scientists began peeling away the corroded layers of bronze, they were met with a sight that shouldn't have been possible. Dozens of gears stared back, 69 in total. These weren't crude wheels knocked together. Each one was cut with shocking accuracy, their tiny teeth measuring just one millimeter long. Believe it or not, the people who built this knew how to calculate gear ratios that still baffle engineers today. On its face sat a circular dial ringed with markers for the 12 sections of the zodiac and the Egyptian calendar. It even had a built-in correction for the leap year, a feature that takes modern astronomers' complex math to figure out. The real shock, however, came from what the device could predict. A small ball, half white and half black, rotated to show the moon's exact phase on any given day. The gearing behind it perfectly modeled the moon's strange orbit, which speeds up and slows down, a calculation that didn't appear again in human history until the Renaissance over a thousand years later. The back of the device was even more incredible. Five dials worked together to predict solar and lunar eclipses using the Cero cycle, an ancient Babylonian method for mapping when the sun or moon would go dark. It didn't stop there. The machine also marked the timing of the Olympic Games and other major festivals, coding them into the gears as if even sports were tied to the movements of the stars. Tiny Greek writing covered the surface with over 3,000 characters decoded so far, explaining how to use the device like a user's manual etched in metal. It was a complete knowledge system, a true analog computer. The precision required to build it was so extreme that it raised a terrifying question. If one person or group could do this, who were they? A legacy of lost genius. The mathematical genius buried in those bronze gears points to one unsettling source. Archimedes, the most brilliant inventor of the ancient world. Though he died in 212 BCE, his ideas lived on. There's growing evidence the Antikythera mechanism was built by those who studied his hidden knowledge. The astronomical models in the gears match calculations he developed decades before anyone else. This wasn't a fresh invention, it was the perfection of a lost science. The story gets even wilder. An ancient Roman writer named Cicero wrote about similar machines made by Archimedes himself describing them as bronze orbs that could show the movements of the stars and predict eclipses. These weren't myths. They were real devices that worked just like the Antikythera mechanism. This hints that a whole school of technology existed known only to a select few. The sheer cost and labor involved meant these weren't for ordinary people. They were secret tools for the wealthy and powerful rulers, elite scholars, and royal astronomers who could afford to build machines that could seemingly read the future. This wasn't about public learning, it was about private power. If machines this advanced existed 2,000 years ago, what other technologies did those elite groups keep hidden? The trail of the shipwreck leads to Rome, suggesting a powerful Roman general or statesman commissioned it as the ultimate prize. Owning it would be like owning time itself. The only reason this one survived is because it sank. The rest, they were likely melted down, destroyed, or are still hidden away in the ruins of forgotten villas. But what if this machine wasn't just the work of one law school of thought, but evidence of a network so vast it spanned the entire known world? A closer look at the mechanism's bronze plates reveals a shocking truth. This wasn't just Greek innovation. The astronomical knowledge connects to distant lands and ancient powers. Babylonian lunar cycles appear alongside Egyptian calendar systems. The fine-cut teeth of the gears reflect metalwork once perfected in Syrian workshops. As it turns out, every piece of the device hints at a forgotten world where information flowed freely across a superhighway of knowledge that bound civilizations together. 
The ship that sank with the mechanism also carried Syrian glass, marble from Asia Minor, and coins from Sicily. This collection wasn't accidental. It points to a sophisticated system of exchange connecting scholars in ways we still don't understand. The calendar itself proves it, with references to Egyptian months, Babylonian eclipse data, and Syrian stargazing records all unified into one machine. This suggests a cabal of thinkers had access to centuries of cross-cultural knowledge which they gathered, compared, and perfected. This was a carefully coordinated sharing, or perhaps stealing, of intellectual wealth on a massive scale. Conspiracy theories have swirled for years, suggesting this network wasn't just a friendly club of scholars. Some believe it was a secret society, an ancient Illuminati hoarding advanced technology to maintain power. They didn't just build calendars, they created tools that gave them an edge over everyone else. This device wasn't a scientific instrument for research, it was an instrument of control. And yet networks like these don't simply fade away. They are erased. The shipwreck might have been an accident, but it's a little too convenient that the world's only surviving example of this technology was lost at sea. It raises a chilling possibility. Maybe someone wanted it gone. For over 100 years, the truth was hiding in plain sight, a corroded mess of bronze that no one truly understood. But human eyes have limits. It took a super AI to finally see the ghost in the machine. Researchers fed thousands of high-resolution, three-dimensional scans of all 82 fragments into a powerful machine learning system. The AI wasn't just looking at the surface, it was peering through layers of time and decay. It found what scientists call ghost inscriptions faint letters and symbols that had been wiped away centuries ago but left microscopic traces deep in the metal. Here's where it gets really crazy. The AI discovered the Greek letters were only the first layer of information. The real secrets were hidden in a mathematical language. The number of teeth on each gear, the strange prime numbers used, and the precise ratios between them, it wasn't just for mechanics, it was a code a programming language made of metal. By deciphering this language, the AI unlocked the machine's true, terrifying purpose. The anti thraw mechanism wasn't just tracking stars. Buried in its complex gears were formulas to predict major human events. The AI cross-referenced the machine's cycles with thousands of years of historical records and found stunning connections. The creators believed certain planetary alignments could predict cycles of drought and famine. They had a gear that modeled a 22-year solar cycle, which they linked to the outbreak of plagues. They even had a dial that tracked what they called cosmic discord, a pattern in the sky they believed made populations more aggressive and likely to go to war. Its creators weren't just observing the heavens, they were using that knowledge to see the future of humanity itself. But they didn't stop at prediction. The AI analysis of the Olympic Games dial revealed chilling notes about its use. It wasn't just a calendar. It was a tool for social engineering. The machine identified specific celestial moments when they believed mass gatherings would have the greatest psychological impact, making people more unified excited, or even fearful. Think about that for a second. An ancient power was using the stars to schedule events to manipulate the emotions of entire societies, and that wasn't the worst of it. The microscopic symbols the AI found weren't decorations, they were coordinates. The locations pointed to 12 other sites scattered across the Mediterranean from ruins in Syria to forgotten temples in Egypt and Sicily. The Antikythera mechanism wasn't a lone miracle, it was just one node in a hidden network of ancient machines. The AI even found traces of what looked like a communication protocol, suggesting these devices might have once been linked together. This wasn't a lost civilization, it was a shadow one operating with technology that was deliberately kept from the history books. 
The AI's final analysis delivered the most chilling message of all. It pieced together a fragmented warning hidden deep within the main bronze plate. It didn't just say the knowledge was dangerous, it said, to turn this dial is to open a door that cannot be closed. The power of the heavens reflects the mind of its user. The message warned that their technology could bring either an age of unbelievable prosperity or total ruin, and they had decided humanity was not ready. They scattered their machines across the world, burying them forever. But that warning has now been broken. As archaeologists race to the coordinates provided by the AI, they are digging for a forbidden science. And as the first reports come in from a dig site in Egypt, reports of a strange metal structure followed by sudden unnerving radio silence, we have to wonder. If our ancestors buried this power to protect us, what have we just unleashed? If our history is a lie built on the ruins of forgotten science, what other impossible technologies are still waiting to be found? Like and subscribe for more.